Tonight, Six Investigates looks at what it'll take to fix Packery Channel. Its walls are ruined. It's unsafe to walk on the south end. Been that way since Hurricane Harvey. Thing is, Packery Channel has seen damage like that before. And some people are asking if a design flaw is the reason that Packery Channel keeps getting damaged. Investigative reporter Jessica Savage has the story. Packery Channel opened 12 years ago. Back then, it was hailed as an engineering marvel and a faster way for boats to get from the Gulf of Mexico into North Padre Island. But that engineering has been tested. We know it doesn't work. My, I think it's probably in the design. This is not a typical design for a, a Gulf jetty that you see. Last year, a six-foot storm surge from Hurricane Harvey dealt another blow to Packery Channel. Now, much of it is in disrepair, washed out sidewalks, sunken walls, and a huge price tag to repair it, as much as $7.9 million. But those problems are not isolated. In 2008, Packery Channel suffered the same kind of damage from Hurricane Ike. The repairs then cost the city about $2 million. Councilman Greg Smith says the problems go back even farther to 2005 when Packery Channel was under construction. Emily was a hurricane that hit northern Mexico. The storm surge damaged the channel's concrete revetment system. The city was out uh, about $800,000. This is the concrete revetment system, and each time there has been damage, the failures have been here along the walls of the channel. You can see where these concrete pieces fit together like a puzzle, supported through this cabling system meant to hold back the sand beneath it. But right here, you can see where the system has failed, and the sand has washed away. I certainly would have preferred to have something that uh, held up better. Uh, in these storm events. To this day, it's unclear exactly how Packery Channel was built. All the city has is a set of design drawings. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers oversaw the design and construction of Packery Channel. And that would maybe be a question that would be better directed at them. So we asked them for an interview. The Corps referred us back to the city. Island residents are paying for the repairs and they want answers too. As I think it's a shame. It should have been done right the first time. And that's led Jay Gardner with the Island Strategic Action Committee on a search. He sifted through hundreds of construction field notes, trying to determine exactly how the channel was built. I'm not looking through this information as a witch hunt. I'm looking for this information to help us move forward in a positive light. That information could help the city figure out the best way to repair it but some already have an opinion. The repair that was done after Ike, the areas that were repaired with the large stones, they worked. To figure out exactly what's caused these failures, the city has hired a contractor to put together a root cause analysis that should be ready within the next 30 days. Reporting from Packery Channel, Jessica Savage, Six investigates. Now, city leaders don't know uh, how much it'll cost to actually fix Packery Channel. Some people want a permanent fix to prevent future damage to those walls.